Hello, bueno. Are you all ready? I'm ready. What's the video, Justino? Top five games. Still learning about us this week, baby. Yeah, here you we go. Here we go. Here we go. Listen, listen. So, so all right. We're going to go quickly. Top five games. Oh, time, baby. We're not going to... We can talk about these later if we ever do like a podcast type thing, which you probably will. But... Yeah, since we, we can, listen so much to podcasts. Yeah. Maybe we'll have a podcast series where each week we go through our top five games that we will expand upon them in that video and that podcast and stuff here. But until then, we're just going to run through these quickly, baby. Okay. Number five, for old Justino here. Oh, Justino, a real angry boy. I was as a kid, a real angry boy. I'm sorry he's like this. So, listen, everybody. My number five is Metal Gear Solid 3. Okay. I just remember something about this game I would not expand upon here. But, um, I put this game on here. My two games at five and four, you'll know them. But I put them here because he took me years to beat. I was very happy when I beat them. And it's not Dark Souls, like, they were so difficult. I, I couldn't beat them. Mm -hmm. It's more like I was missing something. So I couldn't beat him. Metal Gear Solid 3, I loved. I still love the franchise. I love I've only ever played 3, 4, and 5 because I tried two. That shit was hard. I couldn't get past that one place where all the soldiers were and they're all lined up and you couldn't get spotted. And you have to crawl under shit. I couldn't do it. And I quit. So um but Metal Gear Solid 3, I got stuck at the part where you're going down the river, you're passing all the people you've killed in the game, you're following this death looking bitch down the river. You get to the end, and he's like, he's like, oh, you, whatever the fuck. You get this tooth early in the game that you're supposed to use, and it'll make people think you're dead, and you're supposed to use that so he thinks you're dead, and you wake up. Not in this river anymore. I didn't know that. I've forgotten about that tooth. Later on, I didn't have the internet. They are poor. Later on, we go to the library. I look it up how to beat it. By this point, we have a PS3. Because I originally played it on PS2. We got PS3. I bought the collection. I go there. I use the tooth. And I get through it, baby. Hey. Yeah. He's having to wait for the next platform. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So, like, that that's how I, I beat Burger Saw 3. I finally beat it. And uh, it made me so happy. I love that game. I love the freedom you have in the game to play how you want to. I love that you can shoot that, that bitch-ass sniper in the wheelchair. And you don't have to fight him later in the boss fight, the old man. Because you see him like reeling down the witcher. You can snipe his ass right there. Don't have to fight him later. Um, I said last time, I love that I don't know what's happening in the franchise. You said you watched it. You, said, you didn't watch it, but you saw that there was like a like, five hour long video of like the breaking down of Metal Gear Solid. I think it was like three and a half hours. And it's like all of Metal Gear Solid explained. Yeah. I feel bad for that man. <laughs> He's, I feel like his brain is just like... You know, this is your your mind on drugs. <laughs> That's his brain. He's looks like, like he's, looks like a walnut. He's all fucked up. Um, but yeah, I, I I love the game. I don't know what's happening in that game. I don't know what's happening four or five, but I love it. I feel like most people don't know what's happening, but they love it. But Hima didn't know what was happening. Nope. How are you gonna know what's happening? All right, my turn. Yep. I have two games for number five, and for number three, but that comes later. Uh, I have Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Tied in with GTA 5. Simply because I finished GTA 5, but I've never finished Assassin's Creed Black Flag. But Black Flag is... Black Flag made me think that... Not that games could be more, but we could reach more things in games. Mm -hmm. Like, it's not tied down to... Before that, the only game I played before was Brotherhood. Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Um, not the only game, but the only Assassin's Creed game. And it was fun, but it's very monotonous, you know, yeah. very monotonous. Uh, so this one was like, you still did the same things, but it was just more interesting to me. Hmm. Like they made it more interesting. And I love that about it. GTA 5 is up here because the online experience in that game is only shared by the online experience I had with Red Dead Online, like the first one when it came out. Um, I met so many people through that and I spent so many days like up until like 7 a.m. playing that game, playing with people from the UK, from Australia. Um, I put a lot of my life into that game online, and... Include playing with me. Yeah. Like, twice. She beat me in golf, and then we never played again. And darts. And darts. Yeah. And we never played again. 
it's just it was the experience of the online like community and that mm. community is fucking ass <laughs> but you find a few good people a few fun people and that game is great that game is great is it so it's not actually GTA 5 the campaign the campaign's good the campaign's really good it's like one of the better campaigns one of the best GTA campaigns but I don't know the missions just kind of got boring and I went back to replay it to get the gold and all the missions for the trophy and I got like <laughs> I think I did like 10% and I'm like I'm not doing this again <laughs> I'm not going through all this alright now my, my number 4 Justino's number four pick of the week. Pokemon Green. The same thing. Leaf Green to be exact. Not green. Pokemon Green. Pokemon Leaf Green, bitch. So, that's the one Venusaur on the bitch. So, listen, everybody, shut up. So, it, it's the same thing with the Metal Gear Solid 3, which was, I didn't know what grinding was. Mm -hmm. So, I'd play through the game. Actually, I played through Fire Red first. I got stuck on the final five and I was like, I'm just gonna get I'm just gonna trade this in the GameStop to get Leaf Green. I don't know what kind of magic I thought that was gonna do for me, but I did that and um I never had blue. Mm. But um I only had red, fire red. I um so I played Leaf Green, I played it all the way through to five or the final five, couldn't beat it on the Game Boy. And actually another instance I think I said last time where I jumped consoles to beat the game. But I go uh, years and years without playing it, and I see it laying there. My sister has the DS with, that has a little Game Boy slot in the bottom of it, and I asked her if I could borrow it. Oh, so you just skipped over the Game Boy Advance? Huh? You just skipped over the Game Boy Advance? Y'all didn't get one? No, I had the Game Boy Advance, but I didn't know what the Game Boy was. So to me, that was the Game Boy. Oh, so you had a Game Boy Advance? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It was like the see-through Game Boy Advance. Oh, those are cool! Yeah. Might have a, a little ant in it. He lived in there. Yo, he wasn't living in there. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, so... I, I like how you're like, let's keep it short, and then we were just going into detail. Um, so, yeah, I didn't know what grinding was. And so, years later, I was like, there's probably grinding in this game. I probably have to grind to level up my Pokemon instead of just going, beating all the trainers and just going to the end and trying to do that. So, I did that. I got very angry trying to beat it. Um, Snorlax was my MVP. That was my boy. He could take damage. He could give damage, baby. But, uh, yeah, I love that game. Pokemon Green, Leaf Green, my favorite for the number four spot at all times. So you finished it? Yep. Nice. I'm a Pokemon Master. Ooh, watch out, y'all. Yeah. Uh, you ready for my number four? Yes. Skyrim. Oh, my gosh. We all know Skyrim. We all know Skyrim's great. We also know Skyrim is janky, fucking ugly without mods. Um, yeah. Skyrim, you can fish now. You can? It's nice that they're still working on that game and not on fucking Elder Scrolls 6 like they should be. I think they are. Bitch, get back in the kitchen. <laughs> Why are you putting fishing in Skyrim? What the fuck? I didn't know that. You knew that. No. I told you that when the trailer came out. Oh, for like a re-release of it? Yeah, I the, think I the anniversary edition. I forgot all about that. Oh my fucking god. Um... They got Fishing in New World, you know that? <laughs> they had like three trailers cut off for Fishing in New World. Yeah, Skyrim was great. I had like a... I had a good experience with the one time that I'll remember probably for the rest of my life. Um, it used to be my favorite game. But other games come along, you know, and take your heart. But yeah, Skyrim, Skyrim was great. Everyone was there. We played through it on stream. We did. It was so, one of my favorite games we've ever streamed. If it not was, my favorite. It was another game that I started but never beat and then years later... I restarted for like the fourth time. On stream? Yeah. And then we played through it and beat it. And that was our first game on stream. Good memories that, that very, game. Very good memories. Also right. some bad memories, but whatever. They called you a pee-pee poo-poo head? No. Um, just so you know, the game's really janky. Um, my number three, baby. What are you on? Are you on three or four? Three. Okay. Uh, my number three. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I thought you farted. No, I was... I'm drawing off the erase board, or the... We're, we're writing stuff on a, a dry erase board. My number three is... Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> um, my number three is a game I played recently. Another game I dropped. Oh my god. Because I couldn't... Okay, this is the thing. Me and Justin will just start playing a game and then go on a fucking two-year hiatus and then come back to the game and finish it. That's the law around these parts. <laughs> That's it. That's it. My 
number three favorite is a game I put down because it was so fucking hard. And I do not... Other than Pokemon in this game, I do not fuck with turn-based. Because it's just something I do not enjoy. And this game was so hard at one point, I just put it down. And it's Persona 5, baby! Oh, my favorite, my favorite soundtrack in any video game. Persona 5. One of the most stylistic games I've ever played. My name was None Your Business. I spent like 30 hours in that game before someone asked me what that, my name was. And I had the choice to tell them none, my, none Your Business. And maybe it happened earlier, but I took such a hiatus, I don't remember. Um, but I remember that. I remember being like, okay, look, look. But, yeah, he um, told me over. He's like, look at this. It happened. <laughs> I can tell them none your business. Um, but I love the crew. I love getting to know the crew. Except for the little, the little RC gothic guy. I didn't fuck with him. Not because I didn't like him, but just because he was kind of boring. He seemed like a downer. Yeah. Um, we need uppers. We don't deal with downers. But uh, I love the every. I love a game where everything you do matters in in mechanics. You can if you go and hang out with the the doctor, you can get stuff for cheaper from her. Uh, if you go play baseball, it will help you in other areas. If you get all the answers right in school and help you in other things, you hang out with the teacher. You can get like an extra period in the class where you can read or make stuff, stuff like that. Or you can get a day from school. So I, th I think something like that. But um. Uh, just, I mean, I don't like turn-based, but I like this game, you know? And the reason I came back to it is because I cheated a little bit. It's because I got the DLC with the most powerful monsters, and I just one-wiped every monster in the game. Until a little bit later in the levels, where I couldn't do that anymore, and I actually had to get, like, a crew of monsters to... This is like Pokemon, certain monsters were, were weak against others. Mm. So, it was kind of like a little... I had to work with that a little bit, but... I wasn't in for the combat in that game. I love g going to work. I love planning my day out. Because you have like certain moves basically you can do in the day. Um, and I love living the life in Japan, baby. I didn't give a fuck about the turn-based combat. I don't give a fuck about turn-based combat. You can come at me if you want. But I just love the story, the characters, the world. It's very but, important. Morgana, if I want to go out at night, stop telling me to go to bed, you bitch. Nice. I think you should go to bed. I really think you should go to bed. You ready? You're probably pretty tired, huh? You had a long day, right? Let's go to bed. Anyways. Anyway, my third one is a tofu. A tofu. A tofu. A tofu. Witcher three and God of War. Tide. Tide. Witcher three used to be my favorite game. Really outstanding game. I feel like I ask, "What's your favorite game?" Eighty percent of people will say Witcher three. Witcher three is an outstanding game. Yeah. It has a great way of putting you in Geralt's shoes. The world is interesting. The monsters are interesting. Mm -hmm. I like the combat, even though I don't really like combat in games. That sounds weird because all my games have like a lot of combat in them. Witcher 3 can knock a woman up. Witcher 3 can knock a woman down. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Witcher 3 can knock a woman up. Cyberpunk 2077 can knock a woman down. You know what I'm saying? I like Gwent. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Gwent was really fun. I played the standalone Gwent game. I didn't like it as much. The simplicity of Gwent and the... I liked it. I liked it. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, really good game. God of War. Never played a God of War game before. The, the 2018 one. That's the one I'm talking about. Uh, this game, I wasn't expecting the story. I wasn't expecting to fall in love with all the characters. Um, and I am I am very hungry for Ragnarok. I'm very hungry for it. Boy. I'm starving for that game. Boy. Yeah. All right. Next. We're flying through these, huh? Yeah. My number three, my number two, bitch, don't get it wrong, Justin, don't get it wrong, is The Witcher 3. Really? You just said it. I'm saying it now. I think Gwen's great. I think the world is great. I think I like role-playing as Geralt. I like uh, smashing. I like passing. Yes! One thing Red Dead 2 didn't get, you ain't get no bitches in that game. Yes, why couldn't he get laid? I just want to get Arthur laid, baby. He deserves um, it. But but Geralt gets some ass. You know what I'm saying? He's getting some ass. He's winning some games. He's killing some monsters. Um, he's living the life. I think that game was tied for me in Ghost of Tsushima with and and Legend of Zelda for like the best open worlds because ain't ain't too much lollygagging happening. You know? Yeah. Everything everything fits in with the story. Except for, I think, one level or a mission where you have to go help the lady find her pain or something. I don't know what the fuck that was. But. Also, Skellige is like one of my favorite settings in a video game. Like, yeah. ever. 
That world is beautiful. The terrains, baby. Yeah. Um, just hours lost in that game. Hours, baby. And you can go detailed in that game, or you can go, like, basic. Yeah. You'd be like, I'm gonna do magic and shit, or you'd be like, I'm gonna swing a sword. Yeah. It's, it's so fun. Another game I dropped after a while. I got to a certain point in the game oh a couple hours God. in, and I was like, I hate this combat. This sucks. Michaela starts playing it a few years later because she was like, uh, she wanted to play it, or she wasn't sure about it. I downloaded it for her on a PlayStation, so I was like, you play this. And she played it, and she was gone for hours. And then I was like, yeah, I want to play that. And I picked it back up, restarted it, and I was like, who cares about the combat? I love this game. I think it's great. And then Michaela stopped for a while. I beat it. And then she came back. And then she was like, all right. Here for number two? I sure am, Michaela. Go ahead and tell me that number two. Speaking of Arthur Morgan, Red Dead 2. Whoa! Red Dead Redemption 2 is my second favorite game. Um, I would never forget the point where I rode through the bushes in that game. Because... Every GTA game, I think even in five, you couldn't drive through the bushes, the hedges, in that game. Look, right? I have I have two parts of my life: the part before I rode through the bushes in Red Dead Two, and the part after I rode through the bushes in Red Dead Two. That that was a I that's remember, one of those things we're gonna tell our kids. We're gonna be like, yo, back in our day, we couldn't just drive through the bushes. We couldn't just knock over trees. In video games, they were just a, a wall. And our kids would be like, go back to bed. I'm gonna be like, no, you don't understand. I remember GTA 5, be ran to the hedges and be like, your car's fucked up. Yeah, you just stopped. And then I rode through the bushes. <laughs> your engine is smoking. I rode through those hedges with a horse and I was like, Michaela, come in here. We can go through the, the hedges. Amazing. Red Dead 2 will make a grown man cry and it doesn't I, make him look like a bitch. Spider Man PS4 is on your list? No. Okay, that's fair enough. Spider Man? Eh, uh, well. A basic ass game? <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, Red Dead 2 is a great game. We like Spider-Man, by the way. Yeah, we like Spider-Man. Spider-Game. <laughs> Spider-Man. Um, oh, I remember when it came out, and I was like, yo, I'm not gonna like this dude. Who the fuck is this guy? Where is, where is my John Marston at? And I finished Red Dead 2. I'm like, yo, fuck John Marston. You know? <laughs> nah, but I, I loved everyone in that game. I loved all the characters except for, you know, the bad guys. Um, I felt attached to everyone, even, even after they turned bad. Mm-hmm. Because you really feel like you're missing family. And it just it felt real. The map wasn't too big, which is such a problem with games now. Rockstar Rockstar can polish a game. You know, like, that game is really There's only studio left I trust. I don't trust them 100%. Because it's, it's, it's still, you know. I trust them. Watch them come out with some bullshit. I mean, they, well, they GTA can. GTA Online. Or not GTA Online. Red Dead Online. But anyway, Red Dead 2, phenomenal game. Phenomenal game. Uh, I feel bad for anyone that got the end spoiled for them. Luckily, I did not. Well, you didn't. You got the the after the main game spoiled. Yeah, I got that spoiled, but that that was like that's that's really fucking cool. But I didn't get the Arthur's. Uh, I'm gonna say it's 2021. Uh, I didn't get the Arthur died spoiled, you know and how he died. But uh, I feel like 90 percent of people that played it, they died a, a good man, and I love that. I feel like we can all feel for Arthur. Yeah, I love him. He's one of my favorite game characters. All right, 20 minutes here. We got to speed up. All right, number one. The Last of Us, baby. The Last of Us. This game changed what I thought video games could be. I We're kind of leaving the cinematic era in video games right now. We're going towards something else now. But this game, for me, kicked off the cinematic, like the cinematic, cinematic era of video games. I don't know if we would have, Bill might give a shit about this. I don't know if we would have God of War 2018 without this game. For the way the cutscenes were done. Like a domino effect, really. I could definitely yeah. see that. Um, not not because it's an adult and a kid, but like, but but just by it's not a slashing game. You're just yeah. running around. It's it's so it's such a humbled, cinematic, down to earth game from a huge studio, um, that Sony didn't know if it was gonna work because they're like, we don't know if people are gonna want to play this game that's so simple. It turned out. I think one of the greatest games of all time. I'm not going to say the greatest, but like one of, definitely. Um, I think it ushered in, uh, I think the same way the Dark Knight ushered in serious superhero films, I think The Last of Us did for video games. Because of all the games that that just had like a, a more serious tone after that, kind of like came in a little bit, you know? But it changed what, what I saw video games could be. And who doesn't like Joel and Ellie, you know? 
Then my bitch is right there. Nice. You ready for mine? Yep. Dragon Age Inquisition. Oh my gosh. The combat is ass. Yep. But I don't play for the combat. Nope. I play for the characters. Yep. Story. Uh -huh. The world. I love it. I, I really love it. I love. I'm here for the journey. You know. Um, I love this game. I there is a five and a half hour video on YouTube of all the character dialogue from the game. I have watched that or listened to it on repeat. Um, I am I'm in love with the characters. I really love them. I really love them. I am really excited for Dragon Age 4. Would you smash? I would definitely smash. I would smash like 50% at least of the characters that are, <laughs> that are in there. <laughs> I, uh, it seems like another game I have to get past the combat just to play. It's a really good game. The combat, it's like, it, it does this weird switch up where like you can manually do it or you can like get like a bird's eye kind of view and like have people move so you can like strategize a little bit. I do not love what I think about my combat. I am the tank, I'm the brute. I want to get a sword and hit people. Or an axe and hit people. Mm -hmm. So I was not about the strategy. Uh, don't play uh, an archer in that game. It's ass. Uh, just always, you know, but whatever. Different play styles work for this game. Uh, if you're not into combat, try to ignore the combat like I did. I got over it really quick. Because I just kept thinking, like, I, my favorite character is Blackwall. And I was like, I, I need to know more about this man. I need to know, like, where he comes from. You know? I want to know more about Solus. What's, what's his story? And that, that was the driving force. They made it worth it. That's the name they, of the movie. Yeah, like, they really made it worth it. And I love that game. It's a really great game. And that's all I got. That's all I got. That's our top five plus Michaela's bonus games. Yeah. Shout out to Sudoku and Tetris. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? I love Tetris. All right. Yeah. That's it, baby. Yeah, have a great night. Thanks for watching us. Wait, where can they catch us? They know where to catch us. Thank you to catch us at the Tall Pine on Twitch and here on YouTube, the Tall Pine also. And on TikTok too. But it's the same shit on TikTok. It's just the funny shit, the short shit. So go check us out there. I think it's the Tall Pine one. Number one, not like we won. We didn't win shit yet. Okay, bye. Thank you for watching. <laughs>